Hey, and welcome to my very first ramble. I've been wanting to make this video for quite some time, but uh, yeah, I just kept putting it off, but here we are. Um, well, I finally hit 1000 subscribers on my YouTube and I thought it was a nice uh, milestone to finally make the ramble. So that's why, uh, that's why we're here now. And thank you, thank you for that, for the 1K. And um, I, I, I want to talk about a couple things in this ramble, uh, mainly uh, about my gaming mindset post to uh, my IRL like things and mindset post to all, and some future goals uh, I have. Um, well, when I got to uh it felt pretty weird. I uh, like the, the the week after, like I felt kind of guilty of not logging in that much, but that was because it was just uh, such a habit for me to always be logged in and get XP. And uh, I kind of accepted the fact that I don't have to log in like all the time, quite fast. So it was uh, pretty nice after uh, after the first week, just not having to stress about. Uh, having to stress about the game in general and uh, uh, let me switch to the main for a second yes um, well after I got to the ball I uh, wanted to get Infernal Cape I achieved that as you can see on my back it was pretty fun actually I really enjoyed uh, going for that but I uh, was happy to uh, to finally be done with it because it was kind of frustrating to die over and over again at suck at uh, stupid mistakes. But yeah, and then I thought maybe I could do some PVM after uh, after I was done with skilling, and I got some really lucky pets at the beginning. Uh, oh, this is the combat achievements one. I got uh, Temporos pet at like 10kc, which was kind of funny. And then I got Salcano at like 600kc. Then I got Forky at like 700kc. And then I uh, was like, hmm, what, what pet can I do now? And then I uh, learned Gauntlet, which is also really fun to, to do. But as you can see, I am pretty deep into the Gauntlet and I still have no pet and only one enhanced so i also didn't make that much money and um, yeah i kind of burned out from doing gauntlet now um and i also did some uh grotesque guardians which was kind of fun but it was boring after like one task so i uh kind of gave up on, on pvm it was it would be fun to like there, I had a small idea in my mind. Maybe I could be the first person to 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 them all and all pets, but there's just too many AIDS pets that I just don't want to do. So I gave up on that. Maybe uh, it's probably for the better that I gave up on that. Um, and then I I don't know. I was just kind of bored. Played some other games and. Uh, then I asked in the, in the Discord, the Dutch Discord uh, that, we, that I run, um, uh, to my close friends uh, Baloo and, and, and Schiphol uh, if they wanted to start a group Ironman. They were like, uh, yeah, sure. And then before I knew what we were like doing early game group Ironman stuff. And this is my group Ironman now. I, I've been playing on and off on it, I have like 200 hours playtime or something like that. 200 hours, that's a bit more. How much is this? It's like 500 hours, my bad. <laughs> um, which is not that much since it came out in, what was it, like October? So probably like four or five hours a day or something. But I uh, wanted to go for a quest cape with like shitty stats and gear, which I achieved at combat 89, as you can see. 
And then I, I don't know, I just kind of burned out, did some gauntlets. Unfortunately, got a pet on this account at 14 KC, which was uh, quite devastating. Then I got a squirrel as well at like 78 agility or something. And now I'm just... I don't know, I just, I, uh, I wanted to uh, to do some scaling on this account, maybe some mining, uh, fishing, and maybe some woodcutting or hunter, but I don't know, it's just quite boring, and I, like, the, the gaming frequency is not, uh, not as potent uh, with me anymore. I just play for, like, an hour or two, and then I, I'm just bored of it, which is... Not a bad thing, but yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. And for other games, I I, um, I played some Minecraft uh, for the first week after Tour of Noel, which was fun with some high school friends that I haven't seen or spoken to in a, quite some time. So that was uh, quite refreshing. And I also played some Monster Hunter World, but only a couple of hours and then I got bored of it as well. So yeah, nothing that interesting happened recently, I guess, in the gaming, uh, on the gaming side. And for my IRL, I, uh, well, my daily routine has, hasn't changed that much, but I, uh, I just uh, spent more time with uh, with family, I guess, and uh, and I sleep a lot more than I used to. <laughs> I um, well, I, I usually slept like six hours or something when I was still going for Tournament of Noel, and now I easily sleep like eight or nine, I think, every day. And I'm I, I could give you like a daily routine pre and post to normal now like when I was still gaming I woke up at like uh, around 7 I think 7 a.m. then I uh, went for a quick shower or just washed my face or something and then I um, uh, made a quick breakfast and then I hopped on the PC game till like 12 and made lunch game till like uh, well, till dinner, then uh, ate dinner, and then <laughs> hopped on the PC again and went to bed, basically. That was usually my, my routine, routine, unless I uh, went for a workout. I usually did it like at like 2 p.m., I think. Um, and now, post them all, I usually wake up at like... Uh, nine or i think nine or ten <laughs> which is uh, a bit later than usual and then i just uh, i'm in no rush to get to the to the pc basically <laughs> usually go for a walk or i don't know just mess around downstairs i don't know and i try to be very consistent with my uh, workouts uh, since I, I uh, and, and with eating as well, my, my eating has been a lot better since I uh, finished Tour Normal. But not like um, it's, it was bad before, but I, I've been eating more and more consistently to make more gains because I sometimes when I had a big gaming day, I probably ate like 2k calories, which is way too less for me. And at first, I also had a goal, as I said for myself, to find a job after Tour of Noel, but the thing is, my IRL -like situation with my parents, it's just too good, <laughs> basically. Like, um, they take really good care of me. <laughs> In uh, Yeah, they, they, they don't push me to find a job, and I don't know, I can just do what I want, so... It's not really motivating to get out of my like neat lifestyle. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's that I guess. I uh, it's hard to find the motivation when I basically don't need to work at the moment.
and now that uh, I I can't enter my gym anymore because I refuse to uh, participate in the QR code society. But that's a different story. I uh, now I train outside like five days a week, which is really fun. But I'll I guess I'll show you my uh, uh, one sec my workout places I guess. This is uh, in a park around my city. I just um, take my gymnastic rings mount them up there and you can basically do an entire workout and I have some uh, uh, resistance bands as well to go with it and this is another place a bit further away with it, which I cycle to sometimes which is really good for doing calisthenic stuff it's really nice uh, really nice place and lastly there's like a obstacle course also in my city which is really fun to to do but it's it's hard but I, it's fun to uh, to improve on uh, here's another pic of me uh, at the obstacle course I also have some uh, I made some quite good progress with uh, muscle up this is me doing my first muscle up actually I've been going quite smooth since And also, they have a, like a, a tire which you can flip, which is also fun to do. This one is pretty light though, but it's been it's it's a nice challenge for me still. <laughs> and I guess I could talk some a bit more about my uh, like my gym workout progress. I uh, I used to be uh pretty skinny when i was like 20 still i i, f I found a pick which took me quite some time to f to find but uh because i didn't really have any good pictures with uh with my clothes off and i found this one i was probably like i don't know four years ago i think which i was like really skinny like no definition at all really small arms and now, after a couple of years of training, I, um, I I look like this now, which is a bit better, I would say. And I'm, yeah, I'm pretty good at body weight exercises now. So yeah, this is. Uh, I made I made some decent gains, I would say. I I was like. 60 kilos here i think and i'm i'm quite tall i'm like eight 187 which is like six two i think and 60 kilos is 135 i believe in pounds for the americans among us and here i'm uh well obviously i'm still the same height but um i'm like close to 80 kilos now not sure how much that is in uh in pounds probably like 170 something 180 i don't know so yeah it's mainly uh muscle that i've gained in the last years and also have uh, i made a new program yesterday i can show that as well real quick um well don't really pay attention to this part i still need to do something about that but um, it's mainly about this I like to train five days a week I think because I need some recovery but I um, I reduced my my volume per session then split it over uh, more days uh, because I was kind of getting overtrained sometimes from all the volume I I used to do and it's basically like a full body slash push pull leg split i guess <laughs> like monday is a bit more push focused because push-ups and ring flies um and on tuesdays it's a bit more pull with chin up and face pulls and wednesday it's a bit more leg with uh 
with the walk and lunges, pistol squat, etc. And yeah, it's basically like five or six exercises per workout. And I used to do a lot more, but I I don't know my my tendons kept l- uh, lagging behind my muscle recovery, so I uh, couldn't always train on the like my maximal uh, potential, I guess. Um, what else, what else? I already talked about my food, I guess. I, uh, well, actually I have been eating a little bit more meat than I <coughs> used to do because my, I grew up in a vegetarian household, um, when I was younger and yeah, now I've been eating a bit more meat, which it's, it's nice, but I, it's too early to say if it's like if I benefit from it yet. But that's probably also the reason why I used to be like this skinny. Because not a lot of protein daily and not a lot of like calorie intake in general. So I've been trying to work on that. But it's definitely the part I struggle the most with. Like sleeping and doing my workouts is easy for me. But um, yeah, just uh, the eating part has been... <laughs> always a struggle just always trying to to eat enough is uh, is hard because i'm not a uh, big eater at all and yeah for my uh, my music and uh, and youtube i guess i could, could uh, tell a little bit of, uh, about that i recently i've been really into like different genres of, of music i've been listening to a lot of hip-hop like the old school uh, 1995 era hip-hop and actually to some k-pop as well so i i don't know i've i haven't been feeling the the youtube like lo-fi house stuff for for a while so that's why there there are no videos as well in the last uh what is it like two months yeah two months already So yeah, I um, that's kind of it for my gaming and IRL uh, stuff that I wanted to talk about. And for my future goals, I well, it it still can change like completely, but I for for RuneScape, I I don't know, I don't don't really have goals, just have some fun when I feel like it uh, and with the new updates uh, drop like next and rate 3 I of course will be uh, will be playing quite a bit then but probably just for one week or something and when I feel the urge to make some like weird skilling video or method I'll probably do that as well with some music when I feel like sharing but yeah other than that nothing special for RS I think, and well, I still for for IRL future goals. I uh, I would still would like to find a job like somewhat soon, so I can make some uh, make some uh, money, so I can uh, do some stuff <laughs> IRL. I guess because I'm pretty poor at the moment. Uh, maybe get my driver's license as well because it's just something I still haven't done. I'm 24 now, but never needed it so not a big issue um, and of course keep focusing on my uh, my workouts become stronger become bigger well, not really that much bigger I don't really care how care for size just want to be like aesthetic and learn some skills like handstand and front lever stuff like that um, and if everything is still the same in a couple months. I'm probably gonna enroll in a study again to study civil engineering um, in September. And then, uh, like, when I the study is like four years, I think. And while during those four years, I'm still gonna be working out hard, learning a lot of stuff, and maybe get a personal trainer license at some point, hopefully. And 
also I would like to attend um, or learn the, the the Wim Hof method. Not sure if you guys know what it is, but it's like uh, a breathing method um, and exposure to, to like cold, cold water, which uh, is really good for your health and your mental. So I maybe want to like combine teaching people like calisthenic stuff uh, and that, that, that Wim Hof method to like help people overcome I don't know, obstacles in their mental or IRL would be fun to do on the side while like working a job in like civil engineering it's like that's like a rough outline of what I could see myself see doing in, in like five or ten years that uh, something I've been thinking about and of course in the meantime just I don't know, live, uh, live and love my life, listen to music, share music, uh, maybe game when I feel like it. And yeah, that was kind of the ramble I, I, I wanted to make. So thank you guys for listening. And um, maybe I'll, uh, I'll do another one of those. It was kind of fun to do. So if you want to ask me some questions uh, or have some topics you want me to talk about, uh, leave them in the comments and yeah, like the video, subscribe <laughs> and uh, have a strong week. Peace.